Hi viewers, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to solve the problem on BEP analysis. This BEP analysis is most important area for the managers to take decisions in any business organization because this is going to be more useful in the area of profit planning as well as in the decision making. Every manager is trying to always know the BEP position of that particular organization as well as to know the uh, future profit and base for, for the future profit he is always wanted to know the uh, estimated sales and also when they are estimate having the estimated sales figure and they wanted to know the what is going to be the estimated profit based upon the estimated sales and always try to uh, reduce per unit of fixed cost so it is uh, going to be very very helpful for the managers hence being a commerce student it is very essential to know the BEP analysis uh, for this reason we are going to uh, solve the one organization problem uh, by applying the various formulas in the marginal costing techniques let's we will see the problem the following figures of sales and profits for the year two periods are available in respect of a concern year sales profit 2019 and 20 sales is given and profit is also given you are required to find out pv ratio fixed cost break even point profit on estimated sales of 1 lakh 25000 rupees sales required to earn a profit of 20000 rupees let's we will start with solving the pv ratio pv ratio is nothing but profit volume ratio this profit volume ratio can be having different uh, formulas but for the given problem we are going to use the appropriate uh, formula profit volume ratio is equals to change in change in profit change in profit divided by change in sales into 100 now we need to find out the change in profit and change in sales so here we have to write the 2019 2020 here increase or decrease now sales sales value for the 2019 is 1 lakh rupees for the 2020 it is 1 lakh 20000 rupees increase of the sales is 20000 rupees now profit profit for the year is profit is how much 15000 rupees first year that is 2019 and then the second year 23000 rupees so it is increased 8000 rupees now we need to find out the base upon the values we have to interpret these values into the formula pv ratio is equals to change in profit is 8000 rupees so 8000 divided by change in sales is 20000 rupees 20000 into 100 now this three zeros and this three zeros will be cancelled Two four ja, two four ja, two ten ja, ten one ja, ten one ja, ten, ten ten ja, hundred. So now the leftover values is four into ten. That becomes forty percent our PV ratio. After finding out the PV ratio. We have to calculate uh, the next step is fixed cost B. Fixed cost. For finding out the fixed cost, we are well versed with the marginal costing equation. It is necessary. So the marginal costing equation is equals to sales minus variable cost is equals to fixed cost plus or minus profit or loss now 
we can find out the contribution uh, that is nothing but sales minus variable cost becomes contribution r is equals to fixed cost plus or profit uh, plus or minus profit or loss also it becomes contribution so contribution is equals to we can write another formula based upon the given information contribution is equals to sales into pv ratio so contribution is equals to contribution is equals to sales in the first year is 1 lakh rupees into pv ratio is 40% then it becomes 40000 rupees sir our contribution what is our rule is we need to find out the fixed cost so contribution here it is a formula contribution is equals to contribution is equals to fixed cost we know the contribution that is what it is we know the fixed cost we know the profit for the first year is 15 rab so 15000 rupees what we need to do is we have to take out the fixed cost is equals to this 15,000 plus 15,000 becomes minus 15,000 because we are taking this value into the other side opposite to the is equals to. So the value, the sign of this 15,000 rupees is going to be changed from plus to minus 15,000 rupees. So 40,000 minus 15,000 it becomes 25,000 rupees. This 25,000 fixed cost is going to be for both the years because fixed cost is always total fixed cost is always fixed even if we calculate uh, for uh, 2020 also we will get the 25,000 rupees only uh, for example you can take the 1,20,000 rupees and calculate the 40 percent of PV ratio that means 1,20,000 rupees okay let's we will solve with the for uh, Another uh, or alternatively, you can calculate for the second year also. We have taken these values for the first year in this uh, 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 solved solution, and we can take the second year values also 1,20,000 rupees sales value into 40 percent. What is it becomes 0, 0, and 0, 0, 12, 4, ja? 48,000 rupees. What is this 48,000 rupees? This 48,000 rupees becomes contribution. Contribution 48,000 rupees and that year profit is 23,000 rupees. So we know contribution is equals to fixed cost plus profit. What we need to find out now? Fixed cost we need to find out. Fixed cost is equals to then contribution minus profit. Fixed cost is equals to fixed cost is equals to contribution. How much we got? We got forty-eight thousand rupees in the second case. We are talking about in the second year. That is twenty twenty. Forty-eight thousand rupees minus profit for the twenty twenty is twenty-three thousand rupees. The twenty thousand rupees, twenty-three thousand rupees. We can deduct. Uh, we will get the twenty-five thousand rupees. So that means uh, the, fra uh, the contribution that is fixed cost is going to be same for uh, 2019 as well as 2020. Fixed cost is always constant. It is, it is clear with this problem. In the examination, you no need to calculate fixed cost two times. You calculate fixed cost only one time. That is for the first year. You don't, you don't need to have a doubt about second year fixed cost. This is going to be constant. Even if you calculate, you will get the same value. Next, after calculating the fixed cost, we have to calculate the break-even point. That is C. Break-even point. Break-even point formula is fixed cost. 
fixed cost divided by PV ratio. Now fixed cost we know very well fixed cost how much we got 25,000 rupees fixed cost divided by PV ratio. PV ratio is 40%. That is equals to uh, 25,000 divided by 40 into 100. Now, 0, 0 cancel, 4 1 ja, 4 6 ja, 24. 25 minus 24, then we will have we will have 1. So it becomes 10. 4 2 ja, 8. 10 minus 8, 2. 2 0 20. 20 4 5 ja, 20. 0 0. 6250 into 10. That is equals to 62,500 rupees B. 62,500 rupees our break, break even point. Now what we have to find? We have to find another thing that is most important one. D. What is D? Profit at an estimated sales of 125,000 rupees. The question is if the estimated sales is 125,000 rupees, what is the profit is going to be? That is the question. Now D. Profit at an estimated sale. Profit at an estimated sales. Profit at an estimated sales of one lakh twenty-five thousand rupees. Of one lakh twenty-five thousand rupees. Now we have to find out the first contribution. I already told you. How to find out the contribution? Contribution is equals to sales minus a sales into PV ratio. So that is equals to contribution is equals to sales is how much? One lakh twenty-five thousand rupees in this case. So one lakh twenty-five thousand rupees into PV ratio is same that is 40 percent then it becomes 0 0 cancel 2 2 ja 2 5 ja 5 1 ja 5 2 ja 10 5 5 ja 25 25,000 three zeros 25,000 into 2 that becomes 50,000 rupees uh, contribution once you we get the contribution we have to find out the we have to find out the profit we can write the formula like this contribution is equals to fixed cost fixed cost plus profit. Now the contribution is we have to find out the profit. So then we are we are writing it uh, in separately that is profit 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 is equal to Profit is equals to contribution minus fixed cost. Profit is equals to contribution 
we got 15,000 rupees. When the sales is 1 lakh 25,000 rupees, our contribution is 15,000 rupees. Minus fixed cost is always constant. That is uh, 25,000 rupees, which we already calculated. 25,000 rupees. Then we will get profit of 25,000 rupees. When the estimated sales is uh, 1 lakh 25,000 rupees, our profit is going to be 25,000 rupees. This is the answer. Then the last point, sales required to earn a profit of 20,000 rupees. How much is sales required to earn a profit of 20,000 rupees? At the 1 lakh 25,000 rupees, we are getting 25,000 rupees profit. But when we want to get only 20,000 rupees profit, then how much sales we need to do that we have to find out. E. Sales required sales required sales required to earn to earn a profit of twenty thousand rupees. The formula for this is fixed cost. Fixed cost plus estimated profit, estimated profit divided by divided by PV ratio. Now fixed cost is twenty five thousand rupees plus estimated profit is twenty thousand divided by 40 percent that is equals to 45,000 rupees divided by 40 into 100. Now this becomes 0, 0 cancel, 2, 2 ja, 2, 5 ja, 10. Now 10 is a left over, 2 is a left over, 2 1 ja, 2 1 ja, 2 2 ja, 4, 2 2 ja, 4, 0, again 2 2 ja, 4, 1, 10, 2 5 ja, 10, 0, 0, 22,500 into 5, 5 0 0, 5 0 0, 5 5 0 25, 2, 5 2 10 plus 2, 1, 1, 5 2 10 plus 1, 11, 1 lakh 12,500 rupees. So here simple calculation, 0, 0 cancel, 2 2 ja 4 2 5 ja 10 then 2 is here 2 1 ja 2 2 ja 4 cancel next 2 2 ja 4 5 minus 4 1 10 2 5 ja 10 over 2 zeros we are writing here so the value is 22500 into 5 5 0 0 Five zero zero five five zero twenty five two five two zero ten plus two twelve two is here one five two zero ten plus one eleven so totally it becomes one lakh twelve thousand five hundred rupees the estimated sales is estimated sales is one lakh twelve thousand 500 rupees. So, like this, we have to solve the problem of marginal costing equation. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Uh, I request all the students to follow this problem because most of the time, repeatedly asking this type of questions in the examination, assignment examinations. Hence, I uh, suggest you 
to all the students to follow this problem and solution properly and if you have any doubt you can um, write in the chat box so that i can clarify your doubts thank you for watching this video